Hello YouTube subscribers and anyone else who felt like dropping in. This is Disc Junkie and today I decided to review several sets, uh, several steel books actually, in the same video. So, uh, this is something called the, the Autobahn collection. Um, it's from a German company called Autobahn. Um, First one is Hard Candy. It stars Ellen Page. The steelbook itself is a pretty nice design, I think. It's got a small, it's not really a booklet, it's just just two pages. So, you know, by like standards of a boomstick, please, I don't think he would consider this a booklet, but you know, it's just like a small promotion booklet. Next one to be released would be Short Bus, or it's kind of like coming soon, so... Two discs, and I think this is pretty much equal to any other special edition. I'm not sure if there's too much artwork behind here. Uh, but this art is good. Love the steelbook design. Next up, we got a film called Brick. And this just blew me away when I saw it. It's... Uh, uh, it stars uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and uh, a bunch of other people. And it's a very, very interesting, sort of like a, a detective, film noir, mystery, Twin Peaksian kind of thing. It's about a, a girl goes missing, her like ex-boyfriend tries to find her and not really sure if she's dead or, you know, what happened to her. But it's, it's a very interesting piece and it's got a very special language to it. You can compare it to not not as extreme a uh, language as uh, say what you have in uh, Clockwork Orange or something like that, but it's it's still a very interesting choice of of language. So I really suggest you check this out if you like Twin Peaks or or mystery detective genre films. And just black there, nothing else. Okay. Next up is number three, and this is Short Bus. A sort of a controversial movie. This is a gorgeous steelbook. Uh, it's all like pink tin. It's a very, very sexual film, uh, but it's not like a porn type sexual thing. It's more like a artsy sort of naked film. There's a whole bunch of sex in it, but I mean, this is probably one of the only, like, regular movies with a lot of sex in it that doesn't really turn you on. I mean, it's, for a regular film, this is probably, like, one of the most extreme films I've seen in terms of graphic nudity and such. There's, like, gay, straight, threesomes, full frontal nudity, both male and female. But it's, it's a very interesting film. It's more like the movie about life and not about sex. I think that was like the general tagline. Uh, but you know, great looking steel, all pink. Just love the color choices. The second disc is actually a soundtrack CD in case anyone wonders. So, let's see, next up a movie called 237. Uh, this was also quite a, quite a good film. It's about a person who commits suicide and uh, it's on a school and the story is basically told from different angles sort of like a elephant uh, by Gus Van Sant kind of thing and you eventually find out you know who actually died because all of the characters have like equal equal chances so to speak of wanting to commit suicide I mean each one has their own problems so uh, it's an interesting film and, you know, worth watching, so check it out. Good looking steel as well, nice design. If anyone wonders what this piece of paper was, kind of wondering that myself. Uh, oh, that's just an original receipt from Amazon where I bought that particular steelbook. Alright, this movie right at your door. Uh, not a big Hollywood picture, it's very... I just, I love the cover on this. I mean, how, how good is not this? This looks so, so wicked cool. 
and it was directed by a guy named Chris Gorak. It's a very simple piece in terms of in terms of budget, but it still it looks like quite an expensive picture. They really do a lot with the stuff that they have, uh, and it's about it's a bomb that goes off uh, in the middle of town. And uh, the ash, so to speak, uh, raining down from the explosions is uh, toxic uh, and people are urged to stay inside. And uh, this couple, this guy who is at home during the days, uh, hears this on radio and he does as he is told. He tries to seal himself in using, you know, taping up all the windows and stuff, hoping that his wife is uh, safe because he can't reach her. Uh, and then eventually she comes home knocking at the door and uh, it's really, you know, should he let her in? Should he keep her out? What's, I mean, what's the moral issue? I just, I thought it was really interesting story and uh, incredibly moving actually. I, one of those movies that almost brought me to tears. Not a lot of films do that, but, you know, I was really, really trembling at this one. So, you know, yeah. So that's out. I mean, now you can... Maybe you think I'm just a wuss, but this really moved me. I thought, you know, the couple, the scenes with, you know, the really heartbreaking moments, I really thought they were, were touching and and realistic. And uh, it's not so much about the bomb, but it's a lot about moral and, you know, yeah. Highly recommended if you, if you feel like it's a genre you might enjoy. So, yeah. And there's a twist at the end as well, in case anyone wonders. Wow. Moving along, this is number six. This is a film called Inside. Uh, this is a French film. And up until this point, all of Autobahn's releases had been subtitled in English and in German. And then came this. This is a French film. And I was like, I was dead sure that this would be subtitled as well. But this only has German subtitles. I was just furious because I thought this movie looked so cool. I watched this film on like a Swedish DVD. I can't recall anyway. Uh, but uh, to be honest, I found it to be sort of over the top, a bit too gory for me. Um, it's a gr it's a great thriller, uh, no doubt about it. It's you know I was really like grabbing the chair and you know, toes curling up because you didn't really want to see what was happening. I'm gonna see if I can show you just the inside there because this is the first that has, you know, uh, graphics for the entire inside. I'm sure this is worth checking out, you know, if you if you like the genre. Quick mention on the story, uh, it's about a girl who uh, gets into an accident and she's pregnant and one night there's a woman who comes to her house knocking on the door and eventually gets into her house and tries to kill her for no apparent reason, you know, just totally sister action, blood spurting out, bah, I don't know, well, check it out if you if you like stuff in this category, I'm, I'm sure you'll appreciate it. So, that's it. This is the last one. A German film called Für den Unbekannten Hund, which is like for the unknown dog. No? I don't think Unbekannten is unknown. I think it's more like the dog doesn't know something something and for him, you know, like, for the dog that doesn't know. Ah, I have no idea, but this will have to be a quick review, because, you know, I'm almost out of time here. And it will be, because I haven't actually seen this film. And why? Well, because it's in German, and there aren't any English subtitles on this one. Got your typical promo booklet once again. That's the inside. Pretty good looking. But, yeah. That's it. Before I go, I can just mention this is the small promo booklet for the last one, and this shows what titles are about to come, and that's All the Boys Love Mandy Lane and The Unbekannte. This is also a foreign film, I can't recall what the original title is actually, but that's the German title. So, yeah, that is it for my Autobahn Steelbook collection.